Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of biliary ascaris. A young male patient came with severe right upper abdominal pain. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the common bile duct. This is the portal vein showing color on Doppler. And you can see the common bile duct looks dilated. This is the left hepatic duct. It looks dilated also. And if you check carefully, you can see a linear hyperechogenic structure within this hepatic duct. This is the cross section of the dilated duct, and you can see the hyperechogenic structure is moving. So again the longitudinal section and this is the hyperechogenic structure within the dilated left hepatic duct. This linear tubular hyperechogenic structure is the ascaris lumbricoides within the left hepatic duct. Again left hepatic duct and you can see the hyperechogenic structure within it. If you check carefully, you may see a little movement here also. So this is a case of biliary ascaris, and this structure is a live worm within the left hepatic duct. Here is the picture of the linear tubular structure within the dilated left hepatic duct indicating ascaris lumbricoides. Overall duct wall is not thickened, so the patient has not already developed ultrasound features of cholangitis. Here is again the magnified image and you can see the dilated common bile duct and you can see the linear tubular structure extending from the common bile duct up to the left hepatic duct through the common hepatic duct. So, in summary, a linear echogenic motile structure is noted within the dilated left hepatic duct, indicating biliary ascaris. Now, the take home message check the history of pneumonia and passage of worms with vomit and stool. As we know from the life cycle of ascaris lumbicoides, this patient will have eosinophilic pneumonia and then the patient will come to you with gastrointestinal complaints. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.